renovations and improvements that will help to increase the value of your home in 2021. Hi, I'm Christine Denti. These are the top three renovations that will add value to your home, which will give you return on your investment when you sell your home. Number one, the kitchen. It does not need to be expensive, although it's one of the first rooms buyers see when they view your house. So make sure it shows well and your buyer doesn't have to consider updates and renos after they move in. Here's what should be included in your kitchen updates. Update the cabinets, or at least the doors. You can sometimes just paint them white and also update the hardware on your cabinets. Another kitchen update is to paint the walls and also update the backsplash to neutral colors. Neutral colors meaning light beige, light gray, or any earthy tones and neutral colors in those families of colors. Make sure the lighting is bright and modern. Despite COVID, you can still buy lighting online now in various colors and styles. Ensure your kitchen appliances match. I recently had a home sale in Oshawa, which had stainless steel appliances, except for the fridge. It took away from the visual flow in the kitchen. My client sold that fridge and bought another used stainless steel fridge on Kijiji for less than what they sold their old one for. So all in all, my clients were successful in the fruitful sale of their home. Another kitchen reno would be to update your countertop. You don't have to break the bank, but make sure it's a neutral color that works with the rest of your kitchen colors. You also may even have to consider opening your kitchen to attract more buyers if your kitchen is too small or feels closed off. But I wouldn't do this for a tiny home in which this reno might not give you the same return as if it's a larger space. If you have questions about whether or not this works for your home, call me. I send my clients a list of the past sales in the area of updated kitchens so they can see what the trends are if they're considering a kitchen renovation. I also like to refer to Pinterest for smaller interior design projects. There are so many examples for interior design projects that I actually end up roaming on there for way too long. The second renovation that will give you the best return on your investment when selling your home is Flooring. Make sure the flooring is neutral and not too bold. And make sure there's not a variation of colors from room to room. On MLS, a buyer can look at a collage of all the rooms, so you want them to feel like they're viewing the same home in all the pictures. Make sure you stick with mid-tones, as in not too dark and not too light in color, and keep in mind it does not have to be expensive. There are a variety of finishes you can choose from, such as hardwood, engineered hardwood, vinyl, laminate, and in appropriate spaces such as kitchens, foyers, and bathrooms, ceramic tile. Make Make sure it's installed professionally. If you do it yourself or you're savvy at it, make sure it looks like it was done by a professional, please. The last but not least of the renovations that will increase the value of your home are number three, bathrooms. Important and impactful bathroom updates would be replacing or updating the shower or bath. We want this space to feel fresh, clean, and inviting. Another update would be to replace the sink, perhaps a countertop, and even the cabinet. One of my important tips at the end ties into an element of a bathroom reno that cannot be overlooked. Something else to keep up to date in the bathroom are the floors. Make sure they complement the colors of the rest of the home. Remember again, your buyer is seeing a collage of photos on MLS. You want to have a flow and a natural feel with your colors and finishes. This Toronto-based real estate guide is available on most online book retailers. Now for the last important tips before we go. Fix all broken things. All the chattels must work, meaning the fridge, stove, washer, dryer, dishwasher. Also the HVAC system, which is heating and air conditioning, have to be working. No exceptions. While you're planning your bathroom update, as I was discussing earlier in this video, plumbing cannot be leaking, draining too slow, or backing up. And the roof should have at least five to seven years left in its lifespan. Now to note, renos are not always dollar for dollar, so don't over improve or you may find yourself spending far more than what you're getting in return when you sell your home.